High School Sports on this Sunday, Sunday, Sunday afternoon. We got Jonah back, but we don't have Ethan today. Hot potato. To, hot potato, hot potato. Had to take care of a little bit of uh, homework. I understand that. School comes first. Keep 100 comes second. I like it the other way around. He's got to get his education. What's up, Big Jake? Not much. Uh, happy birthday to you again. Just older. How do you feel? <laughs> feel the same. <laughs> Bony, bones are aching. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, good to have you back on the show, man. We missed you last week, but like I said, show must go on. One, I'll probably miss next week. Everybody's getting a week off. I need a week off, man. I'm tired. Body hurting. I'm tired. Doing Body what? hurting, man. I'm, I'm always on the go, man. I'm a professional oh, no. basketball trainer. He's a basketball <laughs> trainer. Where is Zoe? Uh, she's with the twins. They're doing a little bit of Bible study. He said Bible study. That's it. That's it. I'm glad my baby girl has got into it. You know what I used to say when I was doing Bible study? Oh, man. See, don't be trying to say that kind of stuff on the show. This is PG-13. <laughs> yeah, Bob, we're going to Bible study. <laughs> <laughs> well, folks, we're going to have a couple special guests today. We're going to have the two outstanding linemen for uh, Carl Albert CA. Um, you're going to have Easton, Car- Easton Collier and uh, Tanner Norman, two uh, 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 offensive star linemen. Uh, that's been starting for the last two to three years for the Titans. Going to try to help them lead to another state championship. Then we're going to have about a 10-minute segment with Coach Blink. As you can see, he's still on the table. He's sitting at 3-0. Harris, 3-0. 3-0, baby. Heard the tailbacks went off. uh, Both running backs went off, man. So we'll let him do his little shine. I know he's feeling good, man. They ain't won. They ain't been 3-0 since. uh, Dusty, look at you, Yeah, yeah. Hey, man, that's what happened to you. Hey, hey, that's when you've been out there hitting it. You know, you've been out there hitting, 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 taking care of business. But 3-0, man, for them, though. Um, all the teams that we got on the table sitting at 3-0. and Carl Albert takes care of business as they went up there and beat up on Elk City. Dell City had this week off. They'll be getting ready for East Central. Um, East Central. You know, well, now we're getting ready in the district play, Big J. Yeah. Before we get into these high school games and get some of our special guests on, let's, let's talk about a little bit about this college. What did what, you think yesterday? It's open. Anybody can. <laughs> Alabama's <laughs> not good. Texas you know, is not good. You know, Jonah, I, I don't think Al, I think they did Alabama's quarterback wrong, man. Because them other two guys well, you played you yesterday. Got, you got boosters. Well, I think it's the offensive coordinator because the quarterback that came in is from Notre Dame. I think that's what that's about. Jonah, that, 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 but they those two quarterbacks, man, they were that, together. They were probably had 100 yards together. They just need to let that quarterback go. Let him, do, let his him, let him do his thing. Let him right. do his thing. Uh, I, I like I said, Texas, you know, I, I really thought – I said last week, folks, and you can smack me one time if you want to. What's Don't that? put a fire in my face. I said Texas will win a Big 12. No. Wyoming's, Wyoming's okay. Wyoming, Wyoming's not a bad team. But we found out Alabama's not as good as we thought they were. I, 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 don't, I don't think – I'm going to tell you what it is, Jonah, it's and I thought about this. coordinator trying to make that – No, no. Other cor- no, no, I'll tell you what I think it is is that – all these kids had that COVID year. So you had all those super, super, super seniors, 25, 26, 27-year-old guys playing. Now you're starting to play high school kids again, college kids. No. No, no, man. Think about it, though, man. All those Alabama's teams. Alabama's kids are usually juniors and seniors. No, but you had some super seniors, too, though. They had some super seniors. That's what I just said. Juniors. But I'm saying, but now all those kids are graduated. Now you're flushing those kids out. No, now everybody's playing is. equal. I think it's, everybody's playing. It's just five stars, and I can sit there and wait two or three years, and I can go somewhere else get a get a bag. No, and start no. right away. That's what it is. No. The portal messed up Georgia and messed up Alabama. I don't it's think Georgia's getting any good. I think that quarterback so back. Down a quarterback man, he. I mean, I'm just telling you right Ohio now. Ohio State's. I don't think that good. No, they have no. one receiver. I mean, you got what? Uh, so it's Harrison. Not for There's no telling who's going to win it. Um, I mean, like I said, you're right about that. I mean, I, I, I think. Uh, I mean, even Miami looked really good. No, it just depends on who you're playing. I mean, I can't say that. OU haven't really got a good test, but I think OU's going to be undefeated going into the Tech. I think both oh, teams no, should be. One game. They always lose one game. No, no, they got Cincinnati. You got UCF, that mobile quarterback. They do struggle with mobile they quarterbacks. With I mobile thought that when Tulsa brought the other quarterback in. And you see they, what they, happens. They, but once they figured them out, though. But, man, I tell you, though, you got a lot of players, man. They got a lot of young players that's pretty good. It's right. not getting on the field. But uh, I tell you, Gabriel looked good yesterday. I know everybody talk about the Arnold guy, but the Arnold guy is still a freshman. Man, he's gonna make dumb mistakes. I mean, it's, it's good. I mean, he threw that one pass when he shouldn't have threw it. 
and double coverage when he's trying to, you know, in the end zone. Like, man, just, uh, you know, I'm just saying, they didn't give him as much run. Much run. I thought they was going to give him. I mean, even when. He's a zone record, man. I don't know why they keep trying to Blake bail him up the middle. I don't know. I don't, I don't get that, man. But Levy's kind of, you know, he's kind of. I don't know about Levy, man. One week it's, it's run, it's run, the run, run. It's personnel that they, like, last week you didn't see any of those receivers last week. No, and you didn't see, like, the, the walk-on running back. He didn't even touch the field yesterday. They're trying to get everybody. To well, I understand that, that, but, man, let's, let's – let's, I, I hate – I'm going to tell you right now, I hate the rotating. I think if a back is hot, less he taps his helmet, you bring him out. I hate the rotating, man. Quit rotating these backs. Let them get a feel for the game. Well, they're getting ready for the SEC. Yeah, I understand that, but I'm saying – let that man, your son played running back. What'd you say the other night? You gotta let him get hot. Let him get hot. He gets tired, bring him out. Then bring right. the other guy in. A, a back can't have one or two carries and you take him out. Right. Then he right. sits, you know, six, cold, seven carries. Right. Yeah. No, no, no. Let him get in. Uh, I felt like they were trying to they were trying to uh pub stoop yesterday. Um I, I mean, mean he's a senior. No, I understand, but he ain't going to league, so why are we trying to why pub him? Not? He ain't going to league. That dude beat up, man. I love you, Stoops, but man, I mean it's time. I man. think he'll go. Okay. I mean, late pick. Okay. Second, third day. What about Oklahoma State? Who? Oklahoma State. I don't know who that is. <laughs> Gundy needs to go somewhere. You, you think it's Gundy? You think it's it's it's, it's, it's an offensive coordinator? It's everything. It's the town. It's the. It's the <laughs> he said the town. The it's, town got to go. No, but who's gonna go to Oklahoma State? I'm just saying, man. They look really bad. Oh, you, you should never. The only reason Oklahoma State was good is because. You should never Riley ever. Riley would not get Oklahoma players. Kids. No, you're right about now, that. Now, the Venable's sh- back. He's taking all Oklahoma players back. You should never, ever lose to. I mean, I'm not saying that team was pretty good. That team was well coached up, but you still shouldn't lose. You're a power five team. You should never, ever, 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 I, ever. Call Albert can probably be OSU right now. Yeah, they don't have they don't have an identity. I don't, I don't One thing that. I do say, going back to Alabama, Texas did push them around. Who did? Texas. Push who, Alabama around? They pushed them around. Oh, Al- but Texas and Oklahoma both are getting ready for uh, for the SEC. I think right. they're, they're getting the right kids. And um, uh, I mean, you've seen some some good things. The defensive backs look pretty good. Linebackers look pretty good. I mean, just the, the front line, once you get Stone in here. Uh, I know the kid that left Oklahoma State for it. He had a couple good plays yesterday. At first, right. I thought he was kind of getting pushed around. Uh, I do like the good little kid over at Oklahoma State, man. He left Who? Tulsa and came over to, uh, to Oklahoma State. He plays on the D-line for Oklahoma State, but he uh-huh. looked pretty good. He made some I didn't plays, though. Um, I mean, just, it was just a, it was just a uh, you know, I mean, no, I, I don't like the quarterback. I mean, go with Gundy. I think Gundy's the best choice. I know that's your son, but go with him, man. I think he gives you the best choice to win. But the thing is, you've been a coach before. you got to go through the last, all the resorts before you go through your son. I understand that, but the other two are not, the, they're not, they're not the deal. They're not ready. They're not ready. I mean, you don't really have a big time receiver. You don't I have mean, a big time back. And and you know uh, something that Coach Jones said on the uh, on the on the uh, sports animal. Uh, listen to him. He said that this offense was built for Pat Spencer. Jones? No, no, Coach Jones, Robert Jones. You know he does the sports animal. This yeah, city. Uh, yeah, I yeah, didn't know that. Yeah, he does it. He does the uh, the Cowboys kickoff. Gotcha, uh, gotcha, gotcha. Thank you. Keep it one hundred. But uh, but no, he said something the other day that made a lot of sense last night. He said that uh. uh that Oklahoma State offense, uh, what's the defense uh, offense coordinator named Don or Donnie or whatever his name, uh, I don't know. whatever the offense coordinator's name is. He was a receivers coach. He's o, he's a uh, OC, but he said he he thinks his offense was built built for Spencer Rattler. Not, yeah, not Spencer Rattler, but oh, Spencer the, uh, the Spencer Sanders. Sanders. So Where you know he at? he's at uh Ole Miss or he's sitting at one on the bench. That, yeah he's sitting on the bench. Wow. You know, and he tried to come back to Oklahoma State and they turned him down. So I, I, I don't know why they turned him down because those two guys is those. I like to say, I don't think Gundy's bad. I think Gundy can go play at another Power Five or you know any Division One school. The and, son? And, yeah, he's not bad. I mean, you know, he, he's he's he got a little bit more poise than the other two guys, man. Um, you know, I'm just saying. I mean, right now, Dad, just give it to him. I know it's your son, but I just think he he gives you the best best options to win because he moved the ball. I mean, but it took them 17 plays to go down there and score on that team. That's a lot. That's you know, cool. I mean, that's that's way too much for a team that. It's not a, a power five team. What about Colorado? Colorado, uh, I'm gonna tell you. What it, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna keep it 100 real quick. And you, you, you know, we're here to disagree. Or agree. I think Colorado's too much fucking show. You don't need Boogie Wayne and Little Wayne and but Tutu Wayne and all that. Man, go play football. That's for that's, recruits, man, though. I understand that, but I think sometimes it takes away because really you should have got beat last night. You really should got beat. The better team won. No, the better team won. I mean, I got to give it but to. But he them. had 
a lot of five star recruits. So that's all that was. I doubt he's gonna do that every weekend. That's no, it. but I, I'm just saying, man. I mean, so, but sometimes I think it takes away though, man, because you're so, so much show. Up, yeah. yeah, you're so Tired. amped up, that's man. A late kickoff. I mean, it was, man. I mean, it was two o'clock before I went to bed. Right. I mean, I'm I'm I fell right asleep. Now. I fell. <laughs> I fell asleep. <laughs> I fell TV asleep. was just, watching me. Jessica said, "You go come. You go come. You go come to bed and watch this." I said, "Damn, yeah, baby, it's twelve thirty, but." Uh, no, I got to say, man, I, I think Deion's done a great job, you know. But everybody knows what they want. Do you want them to beat Oregon? Do you want USC to come in? Oh, they going to be another. Who's that? Henry? Uh, Hunter. Uh, Travis, Travis. Travis. Travis, yeah. Travis Hunter and Henry, whatever his name is. Hunter, you keep calling that man Henry. Oh. I'm thinking of dad. That's what I'm doing. Oh, hey, thinking of tailback of the. <laughs> tailback of Tennessee, Tennessee. Tight, Tennessee tight. God damn it. But no, but what I'm saying is that uh, – uh, I mean, yeah, you lost him, but still, though, man, they, they had another guy. Man, I think about it. He do got some players, though. I mean, but so nobody so, could cover fourteen. Man, fourteen, 14 man. I'm he's telling still you, still open right he's now. He's still open right now, <laughs> he man. I, that's open. one thing I thought about. I was like, man, Dion, you supposed to be a defensive man, and y'all ain't done nothing. This guy, you ain't bracket him, and they kept running the same, same old play. Old. Drag, but, man. Put somebody in the middle. Bump him off the line of scrimmage. But you know, a lot of this because his D line, his D line ain't very big. They get pushed around. But Colorado State, man, that hey. Uh, Coach, uh, he's like, we didn't win the game, but we we got them hurt. Yeah, man, they beat up, they, they beat, beat you up, up. man. They be, hey, we ain't gonna win, we gonna beat you up. <laughs> but I, I think Colorado's fine. But I think they'll beat Oregon this week. Uh, they got to go to Eugene, but I think they'll, beat, think Oregon. they'll beat Oregon. Yeah, they'll beat Oregon. I mean, Oregon. I mean that. I mean, I'm gonna tell you right now, Colorado State was a pretty good little ball. I mean, oh boy, they were coach, they man. were just tough. They're tough, yeah. yeah up front, that's what. Deion's and and, and, and the thing front. is, though, he he just said. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Uh, Coach said, "Hey man, we gonna go up here. And we ain't gonna get up. We ain't gonna come up here and get embarrassed. All right. right, talk about the man's mama and sunglasses and hat. Right. Do I agree with that? Yes, I think when you're talking to somebody face to face, you Why? should take your son. That's a kind of respect, man. Respect so you gonna tell your son he goes on a recruiting trip to wear sunglasses and when the coach is trying to talk to him, what you should you look him eye to eye, man to man. He's in a press conference." Take his off. I mean, when he when in any other time when he's talking to people, so you gotta have your sunglasses. You gonna go get you a pair of those, huh? Hey, there might be things that you do that somebody don't think. You I do. mean, you're right, but I'm just saying, Let me, that man be me, me as a man, I think, hey, I'm not gonna, I'm, I'm not gonna wear my sunglasses when I'm sitting there talking to another man, man to man, face to face. You gonna look in my eyes? I'm looking your eyes. That's I say, let worry about you, don't worry about others. I mean, I'm <laughs> saying me. I'm not saying he can do the hell he won't. Gotcha, I'm gotcha, just saying gotcha. me. Right. You know. I, do I feel like what Coach Lavelle said? Yeah, I, I mean, I think he at in, in some point he's right. I don't know about the hat. I mean, hat's hat. You wearing a ball cap, you coaching. I mean, I everybody. Think hat go off before the sun. Yeah, man. but I mean, I mean, shit. Them sunglasses made in one what? What? One point two million. One point two. No sales. Sales. Like, sales. Depends on how much the glasses are for. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think what well, one pair is like a uh, hundred, and the other pair is like 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 sixty seven or something like sixty seven, sixty eight dollars. So average that out. So one point two times eighty dollars, whatever that is. It's a lot of money. A lot of money for a pair of Everybody, er, er, hey, carry that zero. <laughs> hey, everybody had a pair on in, in the stands last right, night, yeah. huh? Rock came on there, but I just think it's like I said, I love what he's doing. I love what he's doing for Colorado, man. You got to look at the team that won one ball game. Nobody was talking about Colorado. Colorado, who? That's what they've been saying for the last few years. But I'll just tell you what the man can do. He can go get any kid he wants. It's he a can, wrap. That's I why mean, nobody wants him coaching. Yeah, yeah. I'm, uh, if he came now in my living room, what do you think I'm gonna send my kid? I think he has to go get a good bit. I mean, I I like the 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 little back he got. He needs to go get a tailback. He go get a big tailback. Put that kid at slot. You know, every now and then line him put in the backfield. Yeah, number three. Is it He's ever? the fastest one on the team. Fastest one on the team. But I'm just saying. I mean, I would. I would. I mean, yeah. I'm gonna use that kid. Put him in. Put him in screens. He's but more of a slot. He's not a tailback. <clears throat> what do you think about the, his son, the quarterback? Pretty good. It's pretty good. Man. He said. Uh, he said I'm brave. I can tell it was over when he's on the sideline. He had that real face. Like, yeah. okay, I can't. Cause you think if they lost the whole press conference, all everybody yeah, they go, been yeah, the other yeah. way. Ooh, told you, I told you, told you. Right, right. I had people on Facebook. Oh, they all show, man. Shut up. Your team just got beat by uh, South Alabama. Yeah, Be quiet. <laughs> Shh. What about your team? I was like, I mean, like I said, I, I like what he's doing. Believe me, he's a show. I like a show, man. Everybody, you know, but yeah, you know, well, like he said, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. You know what a lot of it is, though. And like he said, it's a, it's a confidence black man, and it scares people. You know, it scares people in the football world because the Nick Sabans and the Georges and all those players, t- coaches aren't going to get those players. No. I mean, I'm telling it's you right a now. Like you said, I'm saying, 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 I'm sa
Schlesinger, he left uh, Missouri and went over to play at, uh, at, at, at Colorado. I mean, I think he's been hurt the last two games, but he played here at Broken Arrow. So it just tells you, man, Dion's getting kids, so he's going to get anybody he wants, like Jonah said. But I just think it's uh, it's good, you know, it's good for college football, man. It's it's a, a whole hey, different. Even the playing field. It ain't the same Clemson, yeah, you know, yeah, Ohio yeah, State. Yeah. I mean. No, I love it. I, I right. love it 100%, though, man. I think OU, I think they got a chance to win the Big 12. They keep doing what they're doing. I know you said lose a game. I don't think they'll lose a game before they get into the uh, – until they get into the uh, uh, oh, you always lose. Nah, game. I don't think they'll lose. I think Texas and them will go undefeated. It's either K State or nah. BYU. Let me tell you what the problem with K State. Their best receiver is a tight end. I mean, a, a fullback. You know, number thirty-four. I mean, he's their best. Their, their best. Their best receiver. So, uh, Texas Tech's not really that good. It um, doesn't matter. <laughs> Cincinnati. Help. They'll beat up on Cincinnati next week. Oh, you's pretty. I mean, I tell you what, they got. They got they're a lot of teams. Good, speed. but they're pretty good last year. No, That's but Gabriel good. got hurt though. I mean, you lost six games. I mean, you won six games, but Gabriel got hurt. You lose your quarterback. I don't quarterback. think it's Gabriel. I think he was just limited because he didn't have a good backup. Well, that's what I'm talking about, but I'm saying Gabriel got hurt. And, now and none of those other guys. Now, you, now okay, you got a backup, so now you can do, do something. what I need to do, right? Exactly, exactly, though. But like I said, man, um, I, I, I'm, I'm excited about it, man. You'll have another good game. I think I think <laughs> Colorado will probably be every 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 Saturday night primetime game because, like I said, they got. Yeah, they put them as, like, remember the Fat Five when everybody was popping? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But like I said, I mean, you know what they want, man. They want they want them to beat Oregon. Then USC, they both come in undefeated. You got the two oh, top. Oh, yeah, that's going to be I mean, that's prime it. time. Ooh, that's, that's, uh, that's in two weeks, baby. Two weeks. Two weeks. But real quick, I want to say happy birthday to my, my beautiful wife. How old birthday is she? Is she, she, be, she, be, she I'm going to say she's 24 again. Jessica, 42? No, we're not 42. She ain't 42. She ain't 42. You had another two to it. Oh, and she 44? She's 44. I thought I was older. Right? I, that's what I told her, too. Up. I said, man, baby. But, uh. I want to say happy birthday to Deshaun, my son. He'll be turning uh, tw- 22 this come Thursday. Jessica. Me and Deshaun about to get in some business, I'm trying to tell you. Yeah, yeah. He's going to be making cookies yeah. looking like Martha Stewart. Well, them cookies are hey, Deshaun strong. got a little sugar in them, yeah. I think. <laughs> <laughs> that was too pretty. That cookie, cookie was too pretty to that, eat. Yeah, that cookie was too pretty, man. But <laughs> I did eat it. I my sugar probably high as hell. I'm going to get a shot out for this show, but I'm telling you, man, yeah, that cookie was yeah. good. That cookie was Let's good. Let's talk about hair. How hair look, man? How the hair look? I didn't get to go. Man, hair look good, man. Uh, big shout out. But hey, we're going to have Coach on. We're gonna, we ain't going to take I away mean, his, his 10 minutes. I, mean, I want to see what you guys say. I don't know. What I got to say, I think they got two great quarterbacks, man. I mean, really, really two good. I mean, I'm sorry. Sorry, two two great tailbacks, running backs, tailbacks, yeah. man. I mean, was it because they were playing the team? No, I mean Seminole. Good? I mean Seminole beat Shawnee uh, a couple weeks ago. Seminole had a great quarterback himself. He just a sophomore. Um, he had a transfer protocol. I do not think he'll be back there next year. Uh, the kid was really good. Uh, I could see him uh, going to somewhere that somebody's gonna come get him because he does got a lot of skills. He just don't have nothing around him. But Hare, Zoe, uh, I mean, Zoe, you need a quarterback? <laughs> yeah, Zoe need a quarterback. Uh, but but Hare, uh, I mean, they got a Devin. Um, Devin, you know, he led the way. He had 19 carries, 230, uh, 230 yards. Uh, yeah, number 21. And then uh, the other young man is Walker. He had seven carries, uh, probably over half 100 yards and, you know, two TDs. Dang, but, yeah, seven uh, carries, but, 100 yards. Yeah, and then, but, but the thing is, Walker, you know, he plays both sides. Uh, on defense, he had 15 tackles. A linebacker, he's just a, a junior. And he's also an uh, – Wrestler, he's a he's a he oh, qualified for he qualified yeah. for state uh, qualified for state. So uh, I know Coach uh, Blink has done a really really good job, man. The, the fan base at here. How's the atmosphere? The atmosphere was really good. I'm gonna is give it, a shout out to the, something that we don't ever shut do. down the whole town type. It's thing? a shut down, man. The burger was smelling good. Oh was my I bet you God. ate about five. I did. I did get a burger at all, hey, did man. Did you get one? I, was shot I didn't get one, man. I came home and ate, man. The, the wife had some pizza, so I came home and ate. That burger was smelling good. But man, it was really good. The the you know the superintendent, the principal, they were all on the sideline um good kids the kids were had a little mega horn talking noise i walk in they say hey keep it 100 i said yeah what's up they said uh who you with i said with hair and i had my green and black uh george zone he had uh, the jones was jones yeah and the girl said uh well your shoes are green and black those are like Seminole colors i said nah she said why you ain't got no blue ones so that's that larry bird i said uh i said i got every color she said, well, where are you blue? I said, I can't. She said, why? I said, that gets my religion. <laughs> we don't know what red around here. <laughs> we don't know what red is. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Keep it at 100. <laughs> but, uh, but I'm just saying it was funny, though, because she started laughing. But, no, man, uh, Coach Blink has done a great job, him and his staff, man. I mean, he gets after, man. He's a tent. He's involved with the kids, man. I mean, just his, just his whole – uh, demeanor with the kids they come out the field he's getting them high five you could tell he loves what he does man the only thing is you know Harris one of those schools that man you know they're, they're, they're it's 
you know, they don't want to get too big. You know, you know, you those little small towns, they don't oh, like to get too big. Because they want to stay under the limelight. Yeah, they want to stay under the limelight. You know, you don't want people to start moving in. Then you go up to, they go up to 5A, you know, now they got to compete with yeah, Carl. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Well, so you can do what you can, Carl you Albert can, does. It's yeah, the fence line. Yeah, yeah. Man. I mean, but I'm just saying that uh, hair is good, man. And one thing I want to do that we don't do enough, it's I want right. to get a shout out to the band. I want to get a shout out to the cheerleaders and the pom pom. Hair? Um, I mean, just every every uh, team, but hair, but hair too, though, man. Their band did a good job. The Chili's did a good job. The Palm, you know, those people there just working as hard as the football players, and a lot of times they don't get the same recognition as a football team does. But you know, they're the ones that brings in, you know, the band parents. The user ones that kind of helping the concession stands and all right, that kind yeah. of stuff. But a lot of times you behind don't get the scenes, yeah huh? behind the scenes stuff. But I know we don't say that a lot on Keep It One Hundred. But uh, Harris Band was really good at halftime. The Chili's and all of them. I mean, they all did a good job. Um, you know, I thought I was gonna catch a half. I ended up staying all the way to the to the fourth quarter. But like I said, we'll have Coach Blink on here, and we'll talk to him about you know what's going on. Um, you know, with the Harrah Panthers, man. Like I said, they got Blanchard coming in. Blanchard sneaks out a win against Shawnee, a close one, 30, 31, 34. Uh, so that'll set it up for you know Blanchard and then uh, Hare to kick off district play. I think Hare can knock off. Blanchard, if they take care of business, I just think Harris got too much speed, man. They're big up front. Um, they swarm to the big. ball really good. Um, what quarterback, they? huh? They're they're four, eh? four. Uh, So the quarterback, you know, said he did some good things. Luke had another touchdown. I think he had a twenty-six yard touchdown. So he's got some players, man. And man, a lot of these kids are juniors, so uh, they're, they're gonna be they're back, gonna huh? they're gonna be, be good. And you know, it's kind of like Dell City. Dell City, every seems like every kid that I've done on the Coach Jones shows me a junior. Uh-huh. So he got a lot of kids coming back too, you know. Uh, but like I said, we're gonna talk to these two Carl Albert linemen, man. We're gonna ask them what's it like blocking for Spiri and blocking for X, you know. These guys, man, they they they're in the trenches, man. It's like you know, they're starting to click. Man. Yeah, yeah, they are. That's what I'm saying. I mean, the the quarterbacks taking care of business, but that offensive line, man. I mean, they're these some of these guys are two or three year starters, and you know, ask them what's it like, you know, going against a, a Jaden Foreman last year and going against some of the top guys in the state that they got to take care of business, you know. I mean, these guys have had three different quarterbacks they've had to you know take care of, you know, from Cash to Reed. So now, you know, you got Spiri. So, you know, what's it like, you know, uh, blocking for these guys? And like X-Rob, you know, I mean, he goes for over 2,000-some yards, 40 touchdowns, 30-some touchdowns, you know. You got to get a lot of that to the offensive line, too, though. So uh, we'll have both of those guys <clears throat> come on here in a second. We'll be right back after what? One of our sponsors. Keeping it 100, Oklahoma High School Sports. Be right back. Man, Dad, all this crazy weather has gotten our roof and gutters all messed up. Good thing we know some guys over at Rain Down Roofing and Gutters. They can inspect and repair your roof and gutters and get in contact with your insurance company in 72 hours or less. Call Jay Hunt at Rain Down Roofing and Gutters at 405-473-0674. No job is too big or too small for Rain Down Roofing and Gutters. Welcome back to Keeping 100 Oklahoma High School Sports on this Sunday afternoon. We got two outstanding linemen from the Carl Albert Titans, Mr. Tanner Norman and Mr. Ethan Ethan Collier. How y'all doing today, fellas? Good, good. How are you? Man, we can't complain. Y'all got to speak up now since y'all both on the phone together, man. I figure you lime and y'all run together. <laughs> all right. All right, all right. But guys, I want to, you know, one's congratulations you on the big win over at Elk City this weekend, man. It seems like you guys are starting to get it clicking together, man. Um, uh, you guys are unique, uh, unique because I don't usually have a lot of linemen on, but you two have been taking care of business for a while on that on that call out line. I think you both are what are two year, three year starters? Uh, we're both three year starters. Three year starters, man. That's big time, you know. Got a, you know, you guys got a go. Uh, how many rings do y'all got on y'all? How many rings do you guys got on your finger? I got two. I have one okay. from football. Okay, one for football, and one for baseball, right? Yes, sir. Okay, okay. But guys, I just want to ask you, man, what's it like, you know, being on the car line? Because I know they they take really pride of that, you know, being being you know taking care of business when especially when it gets cold. Um, you guys get to clicking and knocking people around, you know, and you guys go against some pretty good teams doing out the year, man. Um, I was kind of looking at the schedule, man. I think you guys got a tougher road, you know, to try to go undefeated than Dell City or, or some of the other teams because, you know, you guys are going to have to face a Guthrie. You guys are going to have to face a Bishop McGinnis. Um, and then you also play Piedmont too, right? Yes, sir, we do. Yeah, so I just think, man, you know, for you guys going to defeat it, man, you guys got a little tough road because you got Guthrie's playing really good football right now. You got Piedmont is always good, and you got uh, <clears throat> Bishop McGinnis. I mean, I don't know how good they're going to be. I know they lost some guys to some different schools, but I just know you guys are going to have to face some, you know, pretty good defense linemen. But, uh, you know, what's it been like for you, you know, you two, you know, going into your senior year? What's some of the goals y'all set for each other? Uh, For me, I set a personal goal at the beginning of the season to reach a – 100 pancakes by the end of the regular season and uh 
we get graded every week, so I just want to maintain a like a ninety percent or higher on average. So how many you have so far? Uh, I'm at forty five. Forty five right now. Uh oh. Damn, three, three games. games? Woo! Woo! I, I had eighteen this week. Who, who is this? Who, who's talking? Y'all say your name because they like said that Tanner Norman. Tanner, 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 Tanner. You know Tanner, my brother. My brother that's sitting next to me, Jonah, and your dad, they played together at Mirror City back when the Bombers were good. I can't say that. I hate to say that, but the Bombers ain't that good no more. I still love my Bombers. Uh But, you know, your dad was a big part of that Bomber team going off the state and winning some state championship. But that's a great job, Tanner, man. I know you you both come from Carl Iber. Well, Carrier, how you looking? I mean, Tanner's at, what, 45? How you looking, Mr. Carrier? I'm at about 26 right now. Not as much as him, but I'm just trying to still play physical. You know what it is, Collier? I'm, I'm going to kind of embarrass you a little bit. It's that little girlfriend you got, huh? Mm, no. Ah! No, no. <laughs> no. What position did they play? What, what position do y'all both play? I'm the right guard and Tanner's the left tackle. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah. Well, Tanner's going to have more anyway. He's left tackle. Yeah. yeah. So, guys, you know, like I said, man, you guys have both done a great job, man. I know going into your senior year, you want to finish this year out strong. And everybody talks about Dell City, Carl Albert, Dell City, Carl Albert, Dell City, Carl Albert. You know, I said it on the show last week, you know, everybody wants that. It's kind of like the perfect Christmas gift you want. But I just tell you, man, you know, looking at Guthrie, looking at uh, Elgin, I think they're going to be some tough team. Looking at Lawton, Lawton MacArthur up there in Lawton, and you're looking at uh, – you know, Piedmont. I mean, there's going to be some teams that, that hey, it's going to get some guys some fit. You know, everybody would love to have that matchup, but you guys know what it's like, man, winning that, you know, you guys just won your 16 or 17 gold ball. You guys know what it's like to be a winner and what it takes to be a winner. So what do you guys think it's going to take a, this year to win another state championship? I think we just got to keep playing week by week, focus on each game ahead, don't get too complacent, and right. prepare well. Oh, well, for me um, – this is Tanner. Uh, same thing he said. I mean, I know everybody wants to see us and Dell City play, and that's kind of like a matchup that is hyped up for the playoffs, but we're not worried about the playoffs right now. We're worried about uh, next week and then one, game one at week time. at a time. That's one it, game that's at a time. That's it. That's it. Y'all like the class block or uh, more of a run, maul you down type of lineman? Well, uh, I, I mean, both are fun, but I, I prefer uh, being on the – Edge, I like the one on ones with the the pa- the pass blocking. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. This, this Easton now as a guard, I like run blocking a lot more because uh-huh. I get to pull. Gotcha. That's so you got to pull right. Yeah. <laughs> That's when you get to knock the crap out of somebody and they don't see it coming, huh? <laughs> mm-hmm. Those linebackers and safeties. <laughs> get downfield. But I got to ask you guys this, though. You know, you got X Rob in the backfield. You know, last year he had a hell of a year, um, you know, over, over 2,000 some yard rushing, uh, I think 30 to 40 touchdowns. I um, mean, what's it been like blocking for him? Because, you know, you look at the numbers that he put up, but you guys also got to pat yourself on the back because he can't put those numbers up without you guys. Mm-hmm. Well, we just want to keep him healthy, protect him, and but sometimes he makes us look good. Like he's a really talented back. Yeah, yes, sir, yes, sir. Pleasure playing with him. Yeah. So you know, I, this, I know this is one of the things you probably get asked all the time, where people even you know say something to you. You know, you had Reed Crazy last year, you had Cash, now you got Spirit this year. What's it been like, you know, blocking for all, all three of those quarterbacks? Because Reed's more of a runner. Uh, Spear is, is a little bit of a runner. Cash is more of a passer. So, what's it been like having to block for all three different, uh, all three different QBs? You know, uh, all of them can move a little bit, so uh, they can take a little pressure. And they're but they're all good about working around the pocket when uh, we run guys by them. And we all have a pretty good chemistry. We talk about uh, what we're gonna do. Like if we get beat inside, like we're gonna run them this way. And uh, the quarterbacks, they all come stand in on one-on-ones during the week so uh they can feel that pressure and have that connection with the o-line and know where when to step out and when to scramble you know for you guys to be lining y'all some smart ass guys so what's your gpa usually lining uh mine's a mine's a three nine five right the linemen are usually the smart yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, i also got a three nine so we're about the same yes, so yes. who is the uh the captain the leader the quarterback of the line the quarterback of the line well most likely the center. the center. He's making all the calls. That's what I'm asking. Who, what's his name? Trayton Holland. Okay. Number 51. Okay, okay. So so name some of the other guys. I know I got you two studs on this show, but, you know, can't have everybody. But like I said, Carl, you know, I've known your family for a long time, and so so, so is yours, Norman. Uh, you both guys kind of started at Chata, you know, middle school, then kind of, you know, moved your way over to Carl <laughs> Albert. Uh, hell of a move for both of you guys, man. I just think that, you know, just one, one of the things is just the discipline, um, you know, 
playing under Coach Corley, then now playing under Coach Dunn. It's, it's you know, two great coaches. You know, not taking nothing from Todd Talk because my boys played there, but I just think that, you know, you guys get that. I mean, especially now if you look at what you guys are getting as far as recruiting, you got five or six kids going D1. I mean, Tanner, you can either go, you know, D1 in football or baseball and same, same with you, Carrier. You know, you guys are getting looks. So, I mean, what's it, you know, what's it like being coached under Dunn and still having Corley there because he's still a big, uh, big part of success at what's going on at Carl Albert? Well, as a lineman, uh, you know, all the coaches play a big role, but the the main thing we learn from is Coach Madden. I, I've i worked under several uh, offensive line coaches, and I've never had anybody explain and be able to teach so many different guys the way Coach Madden and Coach Looney do uh, every day. That's big time. Now, I mean, that goes a long way, man. Uh, you always going to love your position, Coach, man. I mean, I, I remember Coach Huggins was my 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 coach over at Midwest City when, you know, my senior year, man. I still love Papa Bear. We call him Papa Bear uh, to this day, man. I mean, he's like a father figure to me, man. He, he got on to me when I was when I was did something wrong, and he told me I did something good. But you always going to remember, you know, coaches are, you know, people don't realize coaches are a big part of these kids' life because they spend more, they spend more, like I said, you guys spend more time with these coaches than you do your own your own uh, okay. parents because you guys are at the practice field in Carl Albert, man. They're, they go hard. It's not like they have cupcake practice. I mean, that's why you got so many gold balls sitting on top of that uh, that stadium. Oh, yeah, for sure. Like, we're it's all just family. Like, during season, our parents know, like, we're going to be – at the school every day till around six and then we're up here on the weekends with treatment and film like so we're we're around these coaches week in and week out for those 14 weeks just constantly i've never played line but i was a tailback so i know a little bit so give us a day of alignment before pregame or just a week of practice what are some of the things that you go through you know we we do normal drills. We go inside run with everyone, but sometimes we go off to the side, do our own drills, just work on technique. Mm -hmm. We take our helmets off. We're not going full pads, but we're working on technique to get everything down close to perfect for in the game. All right. With our pass pro, run block, that's what we're big on, technique, and we just drill the heck out of it. So tell me this, like who's, who's some of the best – Defense alignment that y'all went against. I know last year y'all went against Foreman, and I'm going to keep it 100. Y'all kicked the shit out of him, keeping it 100. I can say that, that he signed with Oklahoma State. I mean, they they, they, they came the out there. Oklahoma hey, State. Carl Albert came out there with no shirts on. It was cold as hell. And them guys were over there shivering. So you guys that already knew you had them beat right then and Dale there, City? right? Who went to Dale City? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's cold. Uh, brothers ain't going to be playing. Well, with the, with the D lines we've played, I mean, last year, Muskogee was really dominant, and, uh, same with this year. That's probably them and Del City, I would say, were my two toughest matchups. I, I got to ask you because you just talked about the Muskogee game. Last year, I know y'all took the fence. They came to your house and beat you. Uh, you know, you guys had just lost Reed at the Quasi and you're trying to figure out the quarterback spot. I think it was Cash first start, but it seemed like you guys took it personal. You guys had that, that game marked on the calendar that, hey, we're going to go down there and you guys dominated the game. I don't care what anybody say. Y'all dominate the game. Did y'all kind of have that marked on the calendar like, hey, we're going to take care of business and make sure they're not a hiccup on, on us this year? Well, I mean, I would, I would be lying if we didn't, like, talk a little bit about the score last year, but <laughs> like, like we said, I mean, it's just one week at a time. And they were the opponent that week, so that they got it uh, taken out on them. <laughs> I love so, it. I love it. Tell me how much. Think, oh, oh go, ahead, it. go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, Carl. I was going to say, I think we had the game won because we prepared and practiced really well that week. We were up there. We didn't have school on Monday. We were up there in the morning. No, I think so too, man. I think somebody has said that's the best practice you guys have had going in because it's so funny though, man. I, it's, it feels like I know sometimes y'all don't think keeping one hundred don't love you guys, man. You know, I got a daughter that goes to Carl Albert. I wanted to call out the girls and win a state championship. I mean, I, you know, I'm fixing to get my first keeping one hundred. Uh, it's going to say CA keeping one hundred. So I'm, I'm, I'm. I'm I'm kind of, you know what I'm saying? It's hard being a bomber. Uh, Carl, you and, and, and Norman, you both know your dad with bombers. But, you know, our kids are at Carl Albert, so we got to support Carl Albert. But you know, I know a lot of guys don't think I don't love Carl Albert. But when you guys are the best, man, it's hard to talk about the best all the time. You, you do want to root. That's what I was root. about to ask. You, how, you, how much pressure do y'all have knowing that you're everyone's game every week? Just, like, you get what I'm saying? Like, you have to play. You don't have a down week. So when we play, I mean, we could play Star Spencer and know we're going to, you know, run through him. But knowing that we still have to play good, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I get you. I get you. 
you know, we coaches talk about it a lot. We're we're gonna give everyone the biggest shot. Right. It's our it's their Super Bowl if they beat us. Exactly. Yes, that's, that's what I'm trying to that's say. It, right. That's it. You're we have right. a, we have a target on our back, right. and I think we just use that, like, use it to prepare well for each game, and just use it to play our best football. Even if it's not the best team, we right. still want to do still got respect technique them. wise perfect, just to prepare for the good teams. Yeah, that's big time though. But I know both of you guys' dad played college ball. Um, you know, Carl, your dad was a quarterback. Um, that was my and, quarterback. And, yeah, he was my brother's quarterback. And then um, Norman, your dad played on the offensive line. Does, do, do they either, either one of them try to give you guys any kind of advice what to do while you're playing the game or when you get home and say, hey, uh, especially Carrier, man. I mean, your dad was a QB. He's a pretty boy, man. He, he didn't want to get hit. So he had to love you, you linemen. But do they try to give you guys any kind of feedback? Oh, well, what my dad does every week is uh, by the time I make it home, like after every game, you <laughs> sounds, know, we, we'll like go me. in, we'll change, we'll go eat. And by the time I get home, he's standing outside watching the, the rewind, <laughs> asking me about plays. And, sounds like me. But, <laughs> you know, and he, come, he comes out and watch practice, watches a practice here and there and just asks me what we're working on and what I can get better at. But for the most part, he'll, I mean, he leaves it to the coaches. He knows that they're going to do their job. Yes, sir. I love it. I love it, man. Because that's every dad, though. You guys going to do that one day. Your kids start playing, man. And, and so, you know, it's, Joey loves it because Colorado has – Close practice, so I can't go watch her practice basketball. That's the best thing ever. But I know as a dad, man, you know I did that to my boys. I don't think I ever missed missed one of their high school practice. Or I mean, you know, football is a brotherhood. You guys know that, man. I see you guys hang out. I think Andy sent me a picture last week. You guys are sitting in his front yard playing football. You know, you know, and you guys are lining out there catching passes. So, man, it's a brotherhood, man. You know, this is y'all senior year. So after this, you guys move on and and, and go off to college. So as we're talking about college are you guys both getting recruited uh, i know norman you do play baseball but are y'all are y'all both got some schools looking at y'all uh yes sir i think w- we both do um i've talked to both call or like to colleges for both sports but um i'm gonna play baseball in, in college so why what baseball? usually what did you say so why baseball uh that's just always been my sport i just in i enjoy i enjoy both but uh, baseball is really just what I enjoy the most, and gotcha. uh, in the long run too, I just think it's uh, just oh. gonna benefit me more. Gotcha, a longer That's career. Carter, how about yourself, Carter? Yeah, I've been I've been talking to some coaches. I'm thinking about playing ball at the next level, even just to try it out, see how I like it. If, but if you I don't focus on my academics and grades to get myself there too. Yes, sir. So which which is going to be your major if, if, if you don't go play ball? You know, because I know you. I think you, I'm a major in kinesiology, kinesiology and try to be like a physical therapist, rehab yeah. some sports injuries. Man, you know what, man? You know, listen to you live, man. I'm telling you, man. I, we've had a bunch of kids on this show, but you two got to be fired up. I ain't gonna lie, man. Y'all, <laughs> y'all are very well spoken. I mean, you know what I'm saying. Thanks. A lot of times you think a lime, you think of. Hey, y'all are saying words he doesn't understand. Ah, no, <laughs> <laughs> he's lying. I, I mean, I've been studying, but no, mm-hmm. man. I'm just telling you, you two, man. I'm telling you, you guys, man. You got your stuff together, man. I mean, that comes from a strong home. Uh, both of you, young man, man, really, 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 just educated. Know what you want to do at the next level, man. You know, some kids, you get on here, man, and they don't know, man. And, you know, they're all like, I'm going to go to OU. I'm going to go to OSU. No, you're not, son. You don't want to tell nobody that. But you guys got your stuff together, man. And, I mean, and that's what makes you guys so strong of that front line because you guys know what you're going to do before the next team knows what you're going to do. So, man, I, I'm, I'm tickled to have you both on here, man. Like I said, I don't think I've had other one, one other lineman. But, you know, today I get to get two for one, man, and uh, two great linemen that got a chance to win another gold ball. Uh, what was it like, you know, you both winning your first gold, gold ball last year and getting that ring? What was that like? It was special. We put so much into that season last year and worked so hard. And it felt good all coming together. Reed went down early on. Things got some people talking, saying they're scared for us. But we knew what we, were, we knew who we were. We so. stayed tight and just – Finished out a good season. That's good stuff. Great feeling. John, anything else? Nothing else. Good luck this year. Man, guys, I tell you, man, uh, uh, when y'all got Guthrie coming up, I know you got Guthrie, you got Piedmont yeah. and Bishop oh, beginning, so – you got three, I mean, three tough games, man. I mean, and you guys, I know y'all be prepared for it. Coach Dunn, have y'all ready for it. And Corley, then, you know, what's your offensive line coach name again? Uh, coach Madden and Coach Looney. Yeah, I know those guys that have you guys ready, man. Uh, now, either one of y'all play any defense, right? Just strictly offense, right? 
Uh, we both rep it in practice, so like we're always we're always ready to go in on that side, but we're mainly offensive guys. Do you guys ever want to go on defense and say, "Man, coach, get me, get me. I just want to get a tackle." Do you ever want to do that? I mean, we we're just but we're both just players. We like to be on the field, so you know, if they tell us to go go in, we're, we're gonna play receiver. Go huh? Hey, man, we got to get y'all. We got to get y'all one catch before the year's over. I have to talk to Coach Don and get y'all one one catch for the year. You get down the goal line instead of putting X back there in that, jumbo in, that, in, in that jumbo package. Let's get y'all two back there, man. Y'all earned that. I'm gonna get that for y'all, man. Keep 100 gonna try to do that for you two, man. Because I'm telling you right now, Don would not be where he's at if he didn't have you two young men. I tell you, you both got great fathers, mothers, man. Crystal. Uh, Amanda, they've done a great job with you. Sean and, 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 and Andy have both done a great job with you guys. Man, I really appreciate you guys coming on, man. Tell your team, keep it 100. Do love Carl Arbor now. Hey, tell them. We love them. We love them. Hey, call you. You should know, man. I mean, me and your dad are good friends and your uncle, man. I mean, I, I, I'm really proud of both of you guys, though, man. I'm really what you guys are come and what you're doing for the CA and, and just what you do for the community. It's not just on the football field, but just in the classroom. You guys got goals set, man. And I'm telling you, Football only goes for so long in baseball, then eventually one day you got to get in the real world, and I think you guys are both prepared for that. But good luck the rest of the season, and I'll see you at the next game, okay? Appreciate right. it. Thanks Appreciate for having us. Oh, no, no problem. Thanks for coming on. See ya. See ya. Well, folks, that's the two outstanding linemen for Carl Albert, man. You had Easton Collier and then Tanner Norman, man. Both well-spoken young men. What do you think, Jonah? In what aspect? Huh? In what aspect? I mean, just in general, just good young men. You know, I mean, you can tell that, I mean, they got their stuff together, man. They're not knuckleheads, man. You can talk to some of these kids, man. Uh, They're kind of knuckleheads. But these two, you can tell they got their stuff together, though. Uh, Like I said, good luck to these guys, man. It's tough because, you know, when you root, I root for a lot of teams. But, man, you know, if they win another one, guess what? I'm I'm, going to be all happy for them, though, because at the end of the day, uh, may the best man win, right? Yes, sir. That's it. So we got about – about five minutes. We're gonna recap some of these games real quick. Uh, we're gonna start off in six eight. You had Norman, you had Norman North over UConn, uh, 27 28. Then you had Edmund, Edmund North over Enid. Uh, Enid is struggling. I mean, they lose their coach, man. Uh, <clears throat> coach Woods, you know, he leaves and goes up to Texas, but uh, they still ain't found their winning streak yet. So you got Enid getting beat by uh, Norman. I mean, Edmund North, 42 to 27. Uh, going into the small. Uh, small six set. You had Midwest City getting their first win. It must have been my helmet. I put the helmet on and the Bomber Nation got fired up. If I got to do that every week, I will, folks. We got to bring them Bombers back, man. We both was Bomber. He got two state rings. I got one. And every, we, ain't, we ain't seen a state ring on this side of the state since a long, long time. No, we're so, not going. Um, they might get it back, man. Every Ooh. every Everything it's comes around. Fixed. I remember back in the day, Brand X used to beat us, and now we're number one, you know. For, for 15 years, I got beat by Brand X, but now I'm number one. We keep so. making schools. That ain't going to happen. Oh, yeah. Morris about to get another school. Well, I'm just saying. But congratulations, Coach Hall, getting his first win this year over PC North, uh, 31 to 13. Um, like I said, it might have been my helmet that got him going. Uh, state champions, uh, state champions, Stillwater 6A Small got their first win over Norman High, 28 to 6. Uh, just tell you, uh, you know, how teams are. I mean, you win that one goal, goal ball. And then everybody moves away, or the kids that moved in, they're all gone. So now you're back to your regular kids. Uh, Carl Alvarez all over Elk City, 56 to 14. You had two of the linemen on here, Tanner Norman and um, and Easton Carrier. Just trying to tell you what what they did. They had they probably had a bunch of pancakes, but once they had 45, and the 45. other 45, 45 pancakes, man. That guy is IHOP. Jimmy's egg. I hop legend, huh? I hop legend is what he is. Pancake. Uh, his 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 tag should say pancake. Kawita finally gets a win, man. They get a win over Pryor, seventeen to eight. Uh, Lot and Isaac Hire get a win over Lawton. Uh, Lot still ain't Lawton is still Lawton. Uh, they beat him forty one to thirty three. Elgin's a team I think that you got to rec- recognize in five A, man. I'm just telling you right now, there's about five. Elgin's on the kind of close to Lot, man. I mean, they're getting a lot of their kids from the Lot, but Elgin's a team that you got to keep your eye on, man. I'm just telling you right now. I know Mississippi, no be- man. I'm telling you, okay. It's I'm just telling you right happens. now. No, no, I'm not. I'm just telling you, Elgin's a team that you got to keep your eye on. I think you got Elgin. I think you got Carl Albert. I think you got Dell City. I think you got uh, Guthrie. I think you got um, maybe Guthrie. No, Guthrie's fine. Piedmont's a team. Maybe uh, uh, Piedmont's Piedmont's pretty good. You got Collinsville. You know what I'm saying? You got and then you got Lot and Lot Lot Mac out there. So you got seven teams. Collinsville. Um, yeah, you got seven teams in that five A. That hey, you know, like I said, you want that matchup with Carl Albert and Dell City, but you got seven teams in that in that in that in that regional that 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 can that can kind of hold you back. So I think uh, um, Coach Jones need to put Dell City in the freezer. Let them get. Acclimated to the weather. 
<laughs> get go ready. Up to, go yeah, up to yeah, Chris yeah. or Brandon. What's this yeah, yeah. grocery store? Yeah, go up and go, hey, no, I need to go to On Q. Go to On Q. Go to On Q. Don't put a jacket on, Coach Jones. And put listen to me, Jones. Listen to me. Have everybody put they just their shorts and T-shirt on and go in On Q's cooler. And I'm telling you, if they can stay in there for five minutes, you're going to win your You're going to win that gold ball. Every, you see that? Every day. Every No, at least twice a week. Yes. He think I'll play. No, no, I'm for real. Ice cold, man. Yeah, you got to get ready, man. I'm just telling you, man. If it gets cold. We different people. Right. I'm just telling you, man. I'm keeping it 100. Uh, Collarville, uh, Guthrie gets the win over Tuttle. That's why I think Tuttle, I mean, Guthrie is good, man. You beat a legend team like Tuttle is always a good state champion. Tuttle, I mean, I watched the Guthrie, man. They got some players. They really got – they got a good running back. They got a good quarterback, man. They got some – they're always going to be big up front. He's sitting there shaking his lip. I'm telling you. I'm just telling you right now, man. I got receipts. Got receipts, okay. Got Hold receipts. your receipts there. When, when, when they, when Muskogee they, was gonna be Carl Albert. Man, too. I mean, Muskogee. Hey, Carl Albert had that game on. Uh, they, you heard I don't, him. Man. They had that on the list, man. Hey, you beat us last year. We gonna come up to your house and beat up on you. Don't uh, really, man. I mean, just they. You know, you heard what Keywan said last week. What they had lost some, some. They had lost a couple classmates. Everybody sad and feeling blue. So Who I mean, they, they kind of. Oh, yeah. They had, they had a couple, couple of their uh, classmates Who? get killed. Who did? Muskogee did. So they, they were down, sad and sad, man. I mean, things happen. But uh, like I said, keep your eye on Guthrie, though. Guthrie beat, beats Tuttle 20-3. to three. Um, Anytime you can hold Tuttle to three points, man, you're doing some big-time things. Uh, Collinsville over Bartlesville to beat them 27-14. Um, then we're going to jump down to 4 eight. You have Blanchard. Um, Blanchard over Shawnee, like I said earlier. Um, Blanchard beats them 34-31. Coach Madonna does have a win. I think he's going to get a second win right there and come up short. Then you have the undefeated, undefeated. About to have their coach on here in a minute. Hair, Hair Panthers over Seminole. They're going to play Blanchard next over Seminole, um, 45 to 6. And their three games they played, they scored over 40 some points and only given up 12 points. Uh oh. Like so They're doing some big things. So Coach Blink will have him on in a minute, talk about him. Um, you have Poto over Chandler, 42 to 21. You have Claremore over Hisdale, 63 to 13. You have Newcastle, I think, one of the best teams in 4 a uh, they'll probably Newcastle. they'll probably uh, Newcastle, yeah, out there by you. Newcastle beats up on Woodward, sixty nine to seven. Um, like it's I said, they got a new done. defense. They got a new, new defense coordinator. Brad Shaw's doing his thing over there, taking over the old defense coordinator. So, Teddy, huh? Teddy Bradshaw? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> He's stupid. He oh, no, Teddy Rude, Teddy Bradshaw. <laughs> yeah, who is the quarterback, that? man? Uh, oh, you talking about for the uh, <laughs> Pittsburgh the Steelers? <laughs> yeah, them going gloves. Yeah, yeah. He's played for Louisville. Oh. No. <laughs> Oh, Teddy. <laughs> you talking to get it is uh yeah, in, in NFL, NFL, yeah. Man, get, you talking <laughs> This boy crazy, He's man. Stupid. He's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> where am I at? Where am I at? Oh, where am I at? You got uh like I said, you did you got Heritage Hall with dropping down to three A. You had Heritage Hall over John Marshall. Heritage Hall just a machine, they just keep rolling. They beat them fifty five to six. You got Cushing over uh Berry Hill forty two to twenty one. You got Stinger over Steelwell, 36 to uh, 21. You got Metro Christian uh, winning 48 to 14. You got Lincoln Christian over Shiloh Christian. All Lincoln the Christians. Christian. All the Christians. Good. Everybody praying today. They got beat. No, Lincoln Christian is about to be good. They, yeah, they Le- started the Pee Wee ball, man. Oh, yeah. They beat uh, They beat uh, Silo Christian 2014. We're going to finish up in 2A, and then we'll bring on Coach, uh, Coach um, Blink. Blink from my hair. But two way you had Beggs over Verticus, forty four to thirty six, a high scoring game. You had Star Spencer over Capitol Hill. But Star Spencer said, Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> we gonna get better. Dell City's Q backup QB said, Hey man, you know what? Brent Braylon, what's his name? Braylon what? Lancaster. Said, Hey man, I'm he gonna put on Twitter Friday night. I am transferring to Star Spencer. He's taking his talents to the Taking star. my talents to Star. Oh. Folks, what 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 time out? We in high school. When we start putting on Twitter, we transferring. So you're going to star. When's the last time I started wanting to say championship? Yeah, Ain't won. like you going to Bishop McGinnis. Ain't like you going to Kyle Albert. Hey, they won. You could have took your talents to Midwest City. Did he win that game for you? No, he didn't play yet. He just left Friday. So he got to wait 15 days? I don't know what he got to do. I don't know all that. But Why man, did he go to Midwest City? I don't know. I don't know. Daddy said he's going What's to. What's the record? Who? They 3-0. and oh. Well, they better than Middle City. Yeah, so Middle I mean, I'm saying now you can move Middle City's quarterback after receiver. Now you got to get time. I'm just saying you, he's not gonna win whatever Star Spencer is three A. You ain't gonna win. He two might a. be the difference. You got Washington. <laughs> yeah, who? You got Washington. Oh hell, man. <laughs> you got Millwood, Joe. <laughs> I don't know about I know Washington. I don't know about me. <laughs> I'm just saying. Washington, but I'm some, just saying, folks, get man. your kids and tell them stay in their lane. It's the parents. It ain't the kids. 
parents. Think about it, man. Think about it. Your son. You think he, oh, my mom gonna let us do something like that? Think about it. Your son is playing behind a a, a decent quarterback in River Warren. Can learn a lot of things. He's gonna be a two year starter at Dell City. We don't think about that. When I say we, we don't think about that. <laughs> I'm just saying. Think, folks, think, because I'm just saying you're going to take your kid to star, but he can be the starting quarterback at Dell City next year, but I'm going to leave Dell City. What grade was he in? He's a sophomore. Oh, hell, you had two more years. And two what's more the name years. Of yeah, he's a senior. Yeah, we do some dumb stuff. Yeah, think, folks, think. So, good luck to him. Um, like to keep following him and see what he does. Uh, congratulations, Coach Ginn and Bethel. They get their first win of the year over uh, Little Axe. Uh, the score was 37-8. to uh, Like I said, Coach Ginn, I got you up on the shelf today. You got that win. So when you get on the, when you win, you get on the shelf. You Definitely. lose, you get put down. So uh, congratulations to all these teams, man. And like I said, we'll talk to Coach Blink, then we'll get into next Del week. Del City was off, weren't they? Uh, Del City was off. They're getting I ready for East Central. I got to see my tailback, man. Yeah, he, yeah. Getting hype. He, he the man. But we'll be right back after one of our specials, keeping it 100 Oklahoma High School Sports. We'll be right back. With 25 years' experience in the industry, Linex Customs OKC is your one-stop shop for all your vehicle accessory needs. Specializing in spray-in liners, lifts, levels, wheels, tires, bed covers, and anything else you need to make your ride look and sound better. Call Eric and the boys at 405-778-8878. Welcome back to Keeping 100 Oklahoma High School Sports on this Sunday, Sunday, Sunday afternoon. Before we close this show up, we got the hottest coach out here like Diddy's Hot Cakes. Coach Blink, what's going on, coach? Uh, it's all good, man. It's, it's, it's always good when you're 3-0. Uh, heading into district play and just uh, excited and it's a good time to be a hair panther yes sir yes sir but coach man i got a chance to catch that game friday night uh, my brother didn't get a chance to make it he got off a little bit late but i got a chance to go over there man and i was kind of telling him man one of the things i liked about it uh, i love the, the the i love that small town small you know town atmosphere. My, you know what's that song the boys in the fall i mean that's what you think of when you walk in the stadium, man. I mean, he had all the protocols, right? You know, checking bags and making sure everybody uh, is safe and all that, man. He had enough security there. Um, it wasn't you know. two cops for no. Nah, they had a bunch of cops. They had, they had a bunch of cops there, man. It wasn't like uh, the cross the street rivals, man. It had two cops for seven seven thousand people. But coach, I like I said, I loved it. You know, the band's playing, the chilies are cheering, the burgers are cooking, man. I told them burgers smell good. I didn't get one, but I just want to tell you, congratulations. You're sitting at three and zero, and I, I want you to tell the listeners, you know, that. Don't you know? Don't know much about Hair Panthers, but when's the last time you guys were three and zero? When's the last time you guys have beat Seminole? Yeah, so it's been. Uh, I read an article even this morning. It's been over a decade, so I think we're coming up on eleven years since we've been three and zero. And then uh, 2015 is the last time that uh, that Hera has beat Seminole. I think that series is somewhere around like fifteen and two to Seminole to Hera. So, um, it, pretty big win Friday night and. Like I said, man, this has been a good year, good vibes, good energy, and it's contagious, man. Uh, I know our cheer team's doing really good. They made it to state, and then uh, our band's been competing at a high level. Um, and, and everybody comes out, and like you said, you talk about a small-town atmosphere, and, and everybody – Friday Night Lights is a big deal here at Hera, and, and right now especially. Yes, sir. You know, I mean, like I said, I mean, you, you talk about the band, you talk about the cheerleaders, and you just talk about the family and the stands. I mean, the stands are packed, so you're bringing people in. Uh, great crowd. I mean, you know, and everybody's staying. I mean, I stayed all the way probably to the end of the, end of the fourth quarter. Um, I left the sideline, but I went and talked to some parents in the, on the, in, uh, outside the bleachers. And, you know, Terry Day, you know, he wants to talk. But uh, I'll just tell you, man, I'm, I'm, I'm really, 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 really – I told my brother, man, I called him and I got in the car and I said, man, one thing Hera got, they got two great backs. You know, you got the uh, Devin young man and then the Walker young man. Uh, I mean, they offset each other really, really well, man. They're both not bog hogs. Uh, they kind of, you know, hey, man, you, you go in and get yours. And, you know, I, I really loved it, man. I mean, I think one ran for 19 for 236 yards, two TDs, and the other one had like seven carries. I think he might have had over 100 yards, two TDs. Then Walker on defense, he just a stud on defense, man. I mean, he had, what, uh, 15 tackles. Uh, it just kind of tells you what you have, man. I mean, you got guys that just want to play, man. And, I mean, they're not very big backs, coach. I mean, but they run really, really hard, man. I mean, that 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 uh, young man, the uh, Devin, is it Devin? Yes, sir. Yeah, Devin, I mean, he, he had a touchdown. And I'm telling you, man, it was kind of he, – he totaled the kid at least 10 yards into the end zone. And I'm telling you, that kid might weigh 150 pounds, if that. I and mean, he might be 5'7", five, 5'8". Five, is he a wrestler? Uh, I don't know what he is, but I'm telling you, man, he totally – Is he a wrestler? 
he does, he does not. Yeah. He does track and and oh, you know you co- uh, a couple of things you said that really stood out to me with that is uh, kind of the unselfishness of those kids and really that's our whole team and, and even our staff. Um, a lot of unselfish guys and and that's one thing I've been thinking about a lot in the last couple of days, couple of weeks in this season too is just really the chemistry of everybody and you talk about building a culture and what that feels and look like and and you know just just hearing you say that is you know, something that's bigger than a win or a loss is really teaching those guys to work with each other and believe in each other and have faith and, and not always worried about getting theirs, but, but us as a team getting ours. No, man. I mean, like I said, you're, you're a team, man. I mean, uh, you know, I really, I mean, I'm like a lot going into that game. I thought you used to pass first team, like throw the ball around 30, 40 times a game, but shit, you don't have to do that. Excuse my French, but you don't have to do that when you got two great backs like that. Then when you want to open up to Luke and, and some of the other receivers, man, you can, I think Luke him having a 26 yard touchdown pass. Uh, and there's a lot of things that you can do with those backs. Sometimes they're not even in the game at the same time. So uh, I'm telling you right now, when you're game planning for you, uh, I know Blanchard is not going to have that same team speed. And then you guys are big up front on defense, man. I mean, like I said, you get after him, man. And I mean, it's this is not a this is not hair Panthers from five or six years ago. You know, I mean, you look at this team, and you know they won what three games last year, and you're already at that point right now. It kind of tells you what's the work that you put in with these guys. And uh, one of the things that I, that stood out to me as a coach, man, and and everybody loves a player's coach, man. Uh, you know, uh, and and I liked it when these kids are coming off the field, you're in their face, you're slapping them, you're, you're hugging them, you're getting them high fives. Uh, I, I like that in the coach, man, because those kids are going to remember you. And then, then, you know, if you look at you, you look like one of them. You know, you're a young-looking coach. Oh, you know, yeah. You know no, what I'm saying? I, you know what I'm hey, saying? I'm gonna, <laughs> hey, I'm going to take that as a compliment. No, I'm no, coach, that's, that a good, that's, a, that's a good I'm thing. I'm riding that wave as long as y'all will let me, okay? <laughs> yes, sir. So I'm just keeping it real. I, I, don't, I ain't taking that any other way but in, but in a positive way. Yes, but sir, no, yes, sir. Uh, no, I mean, that's me. And, you know, like I said, we've had a little bit of success this year, and, and, and this is a great football team. And, and But, man, that's been me. That's been how we're doing it, and, and you know that you've been around me. That's one thing I yes, appreciate sir. about you guys is you you've been you've been riding with me since I've been here. I mean, and so uh, I just appreciate that. You know, one thing you know we talk about being uh you know good chemistry and stuff like that. I know one thing we've been saying a lot this year, and, and, and you know we don't have him, but uh, we're them. <laughs> and, <laughs> and so that's oh, so that that's something we say in the locker room a lot because we we don't feel like it could be. We don't feel like we just got to run it. We don't feel like we just got to pass it. We, we feel like we can do, you know, depending on what you're giving us and, and what night of the week it is and, and how the weather is and all that type of stuff, depending on what we are going to do and how we're going to do it. But, uh, you know, that that's something in today's time that, that's hard to get through to uh, to a team and kids and even a staff. And, and they all three of them have bought into that. And like I said, it, it's nice to be able to talk about that and, and for somebody on the outside to be able to notice that. So I appreciate that. Hey, Coach, this is Jonah. I have a question. So being 3-0, and how do you keep your, yourself and your team level-headed and try to stay under the radar, not too high, not too low, just kind of, you know, keep it humble, take it week by yeah, week? Yeah, I mean, I've been uh, – I've been preaching I've been preaching this for a while and even this last week coming into this game was really just attacking it uh, day by day, practice by practice, period by period, and creating a creating a competitive environment during practice and how pivotal that is. You know, we talk about it a lot. It's, it's kind of like Tony said, you know, you got two good backs there. Well, one, one's playing defense and others play offense and, and, you know, uh, group, group defense, you know, we're doing inside run. I mean, those guys are bringing it right. and they have a lot of respect for each other knowing that, you know, Hey, if one of them slips with the a gap, guess what? I'm going to be there, bro. And, I, and I'm going to light you up. I mean, we're not, we're not playing around. We're going to go pretty hard uh, uh, during our practice periods and make it competitive. And then, as coaches, I think you've got to just find kind of what triggers your team week to week, look for things on film. You know, I talked to our staff this morning and it talked about the importance of taking what we did Friday and using it to make us better. What what did we not like? You know, what did we not love, you know, as far as making calls and, and getting guys in the right place or, or, or not? You know, uh, Tony talked about that touchdown pass to, to Luke. We had me and Luke had talked before the game about uh, some matchups and some scenarios and stuff like that. And, and, we made a we made a decision right before the game in that specific play in that specific scheme. Literally, probably hours before, just I dreamed it up and said, "Hey, man, I think uh, I think on this down and this distance and, and this and this call, I need you in this place." 
he said yes sir and then uh you know got opportunity um, late late in the uh, first half and and really was able to kind of open up the game at that point with that touchdown catch yes sir yes sir i got another one okay i got another question uh not being mean but hera has a history of not being a winning team so damn i'll tilt up so what is it that you can do as a coach that when you get into that situation where you're under like you're getting beat that they don't fall into that trap okay this is normal. I'm going to shut it down. Would it have perseverance and just fight through? You get what I'm kind of asking you? Kind of like. Oh, absolutely. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, and I mean, uh, oh, absolutely. I, I mean, mean, it's fourth I quarter. That situation. I mean, you're down even, by, you know. Even coming into here, and, and that's one thing, and I hope Tony could echo this and kind of so, jump in on this a little bit, but we, uh, you know, one of the things I was the most proud about uh, Friday night was, you know, late in that game. We, we were still getting after it. <laughs> yeah. okay. I mean, we yes. were still – I mean, our defensive line – and I'm talking about our – our, our 1.5s, our twos getting out there and really <laughs> utilizing those, those kind of opportunities. And yeah. like I said, that's a whole cultural chemistry intertwined moment there where you're just like everybody's going to bring it every single snap, every single rep. Um, and then – I think being consistent, you know, what what are we putting out there uh, weekly? What are we putting out there yearly? And, and then getting better every week and, and and really just, you know, we talk about keeping everything in our locker room and our team. You know, we don't get too caught up in what happened in the past or, or who right. we have the week after next or anything like that. I tell our kids all the time, like, I want to dominate, you know, Monday morning, tomorrow morning at 730. We got 115 kids going to be in a weight room. That's my number one focus from 730 to 830. We're going to have a good practice. My mom, I'm, We've got multiple JV games, freshman games tomorrow night, middle school. Our kids, they, they know that everybody's on deck and it takes a little bit of everything. And that's uh, that's another thing about this team, too, is I've been with them. This will be my – this senior class will be my fifth year being able to coach them all the way from middle school all the way up. So that's a special thing, too. Gotcha. Well, you know, Coach, you know, you talk about – you know, I, I know what you're talking about, you know, not winning – um, you can see it over there, man. You know, one of your defensive linemen or linebacker, I think it's Heath. Uh, with what, what's his name? Heath. Uh, he, he's Whitmore. Whitmore is is he number fifty six? He is number seven. Uh, you're talking about uh, Colton Whitna. He's a senior. He plays defensive line and play uh, plays center for. You know, he was over there. I mean, I'm talking about Heath real quick. But Heath had ten tackles. You know, uh, yes, sir. Loss in the sack. But uh, number 56, uh, he was over there saying, hey, man, this ain't the same Hera team. And I love that energy he was bringing right, on right, the right. sideline because, hey, we're not the same team. Let's go. We're going to score another touchdown. I mean, you're up. You're already up 21 points. And they're talking about, hey, let's score two more touchdowns before halftime. Well, that's the attitude and, you need. And, and that's what I'm talking about. So what you have done and you know getting this job, going into this job, Hera didn't win one ball game. That's what I'm saying. I mean, a so is, uh, he, he, you have brought a whole different a reflection, of, reflection of you because, I mean, there – like I said, man, every kid will want to play for a coach like you, man. When you're coming over there, man, and you're patting those kids on the head and, and 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 you're telling them good job and you're like, let's go. Man, kids feed off that, you know, kind of like Prime right now. Everybody want to go to Prime because what he's saying and what he's doing, you know, and that's what you're doing here. And and, and I'm going to tell you, community of hair, you got to get ready for this because it ain't going nowhere. You know, this, this is a hot commodity. You know, everybody, you know, call going, they're getting their bond. You guys about to get your bond stuff. Man, you're going to get kids. You got beautiful homes being built out there, million-dollar homes, so you're going to have people move out there. It's a nice area. So, Harry, you got to jump on. Some of you old folks, I know you don't want all this new stuff coming in, but you're going to have to get with the 2024 because it, it, it's new, baby. You're going to have to jump on board because Coach Blink, is you're bringing it, and what you're doing, now all the other coaches got to bring it. We can't be used to just losing. Say, it's okay, we lost. No, that's why your fans are watching. That's why the stadium is packed. Okay. That's why people's coming out. That's why the burgers smell good. The cheerleaders, go the cheerleaders are cheering. He does said burgers. Ten man, the burgers smell good. <laughs> the cheerleaders are cheering different. The, the band is playing different. You know what I'm saying? Everybody and everybody in the crowd is, is fired up, and, and that's what you want. Like you said, all the way from first quarter to fourth quarter, everybody was involved in the game, man, and and what you and that's because of you is a reflection of what you're doing. If you got your head down, the team's gonna have their head down. If you up there smiling and cheering, guess what, man? You got a you you got a chance to do some big big things this year, coach. You really do. Yeah, and I and and I believe that, and they believe that, and and right now, man, I'm telling you, I'll tell I'll say another thing that's really been uh, was really been satisfying on my end as far as being a coach here and, and everything like that is. Our, our kids, uh, good leadership, good senior class this year. 
not a huge senior class, but but quality uh, uh, senior men, and they, they've been able to lead and get our team super focused. And and you know, you talked about you know, are you a winner? Are you a loser? Or anything like that? We've been super good about just again day after day, yes, week sir. after week, not looking ahead or nothing like that, and and learning how to approach a Friday night or learning how to approach a big game, uh, how to prepare, how to take care of your body, all those type of things. And, and, you know, I've been me, I've been doing this the way that I wanted to do it. And, and I'm thankful that uh, administration has supported that and uh, looking to continue to do it in that way. And uh, I think that this is just the beginning of, of uh, you know, the normal for Hera moving forward. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I mean, I'm, 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 I agree with you 100 percent on that because I think the superintendent and you know, I got a chance to sit by him and then the head, uh, the head principal. Uh, I think they're all bought in, man. I mean, they talk about the new basketball coach they just brought in for the girls. I just think Harris about to get on this roller coaster, man. You better put your seatbelt on. You better get locked up and get your popcorn in your hand. And get ready because they're about to put on the show. You got Blanchard coming in this week. Um, yes, you got some tough games coming in, but man, you're looking at what. You know, I know sometimes you don't want to be that person. I can be that person, but you're looking like, man, look what Shawnee did to Blanchard. Look what, you know, Seminole did. You know what I'm saying? So you start thinking, but you still got to go play the game. You got to go play the game. Football's a matchup. I know. You got to go play the game. But I'm just telling you right now, um, the atmosphere that what he's bringing, man, I mean, I just think, hey, you keep them dialed in, man, they they, they got a, a chance to do some big things, you know. But like I said, Coach, man, what you're doing over there, man, you keep rocking and rolling because you got it going on right now, baby. I'm telling you right now, if you use the room for Harrah President, uh, Mayor, you going to get it. Got <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir, man. I I appreciate you guys. I appreciate the coverage. I appreciate you showing up to the game. and then uh, I will be at that Newcastle like, game. I'll tell you that. Like I, I said, we'll, you, we'll get you taken care of when you come back. I and, want one of those burgers. Uh, what do you think about the new blacks? <laughs> <laughs> he said, hey, what hey, hey, do you think about the jerseys? Man, y'all look good, man. I'll tell you, Coach, man, I, I'm telling you right now, one thing I have to say, though, man, and this is the truth, man. I play high school ball, play college ball, coach a lot of little league, watch my boys play. Man, your team's a reflection of you. Every one of your coaches was dialed in, man. They, you could tell they wanted to be there. You know how you get some coaches like, damn, what time is this shit going to be over? I'm going to hit the mm. club. Man, your coach was just dialed in. Every one of them, man. Right. And I'm looking at the – it's like it's, it's just me. Small you know? thing. It's just all the little hey, small things, I love things, to hear man. that. Those, man, those everyone, guys, man, they don't get enough credit. They they no. got to put up with me, and they got to uh, – like, like I said, man, they uh, – they they deserve a lot of that crazy stuff. I know Coach Lunsford got a chance to to get on there with the uh, with the sports animal the other day and stuff. And and like I said, man, we just we're having fun. We're having a good time. I, I appreciate those guys. Like I said, this is a, another testament to what we're doing and how we're doing it. Got the whole staff from last year coming back, so you know that that helps us progress as a team for sure. And uh, I think the expectations are pretty clear amongst those men and our team. And, and hey, hey, we're gonna show up Friday night. You are going to show up every Friday night, Coach. Like I said, hey, I have no doubt in what you're going to show up Friday night. You have no doubt what y'all are doing, man. But, Coach, I appreciate you coming on, man. I love talking to you. I know I wish we could talk for hours, but, you know, we got to keep rocking and rolling, man. I got about, about 10, 15 more minutes. Ethan's not here tonight. He had a little bit of schoolwork, but, hey, that education come first. One thing I know you preach and one thing I'm going to preach on this show, education first. If you ain't got the grades, you can't play. And that just keep it absolutely, at 100. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> I appreciate you guys. I'm looking forward to watching the show. You guys have a good evening. Thank you, sir. Right, yeah. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. All right. Bye bye. Right, folks, that's Coach Bleak. He doing his thing out there, man. But I tell you, folks, this is real talk, man. Real, real talk. I gotta get my pictures back. Don't folks. listen. Gotta get them back, man. Say something, Jonah. Tell. Talk to me now. He talking. Whoo, that's Zoe J. Oh, happy birthday, Jonah. Oh, oh here we go. Folks, we got so much stuff going on. Boy, I got so much going on. There it is, back to keep it 100. But, man, Coach he, uh, Coach, Coach Blink is doing a really good job, though. But, I mean, I'm not just saying to say it, but when, when, you, when you're when you dialed in, your team is dialed in, and his sideline was dialed in, man, and, and think about hair. People know years, years ago, it was not like many African-American people out there. You know, I mean, that's just it's getting dark. I, it, it, I mean, I'm not saying it's getting dark. It's getting a little bit light, dark, you know, dark-ish. darker. But dark-ish. like once again, man, I give it up to the band, you know, and, 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 and the cheerleading and the palm. You know, those guys put numbers, numerous of time in and doing the things they do to help support them. Right. You know, people don't, you know, I never had a band member or a cheerleader. I had Olivia when she cheered. But, you know, I mean, Carl Albert at that time was, was one of the best of the best. But, you know, I've never had a band member. And I know band does a lot. One, playing at the right time, getting you hype, defense, boom, boom, 
all that kind of stuff. So shout out to them and uh, good luck to them when they go off the state or regions, whatever they do, and same with the cheerleaders. But let's get into these uh, week four picks, and then we're going get, to get us out of here. Uh, maybe I catch the second half of my Cowboys. Uh, here, we're going to go in. Uh, where we at? Where we at? Where we at? Where we at? Four, four, yeah. week, 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 week four. Where am I at? Oh, I'm in four A. Let's get it back over here to six A. So six A, you know, you got sophomore taking on Broken Arrow. That'll be Broken Arrow. You got UConn taking on Mustang. I'm gonna take Mustang. You got Jinx and Enid. Enid ain't won the game yet, and they ain't gonna win this week. So you got uh, Jinx beating them. You got Edmund Memorial and uh, Edmund Santa Fe. Santa Fe's been kind of off, so uh, I think Santa Fe will win that game. You got Wasso and Union. Uh, Union's last time they played, they got beat by Jinx. I uh, know they go ready to get back on the on the on the pay dirt and, and try to take care of, uh, take care of business. You got Edmund North over. Uh, you got Edmund North playing Norman. Norman's not very good, so I get that to Edmund North. You got more war. You got Coach Bryant versus Zoe. Whoever wins this game is gonna go to playoffs. That's what, that's what it comes down to. Whoever wins this game is gonna go to playoffs because you're probably gonna finish. Wherever you're at, kind of like Zoe last year, went three and eight, made it to the playoffs. We went three and seven and made it to the playoffs. So whoever wins this game between these two is going to go to the playoffs. So Jonah, who you pick? Because you that's that's you. That's your backyard. I don't know. Depends. Comes down to coaching. I think you I think quarterback do what he do. More, uh, Westmore wins. Uh, you no, know, Coach Brian comes from that 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 cha cha. Uh, Leaf. I mean, I'm pretty sure Chata is gonna give him a little bit of film, what to do and what not to do against Westmore. But that ain't uh, got a number fifteen. Though. Who? Moore ain't got a number fifteen. You got CJ. Who's that? CJ. We had him on the show. CJ I'm Simon. saying the quarterback. If oh he, no, no, I'm Malik. Saying, can he go? Malik can go. I haven't seen him enough. No, no, he he, yeah, if, he can go. If Malik can go. If Moore has a mobile quarterback, then Moore might win. Moore has a mobile quarterback. He came from Santa Fe. He's he's good. He can throw in run. So, I'm going to get an edge to more. Um, I mean, it's Zoe sitting at one and two. I hope Zoe can get it turned around. But, you know, I mean, just I think more got to pick up. week off. off he uh, I mean, like I said, I'm, I'm going to get edge to more. Some new wrinkles. I'm, I'm going more. I'm going to go more 28, Westmore 21. That close? I think it's Lupe. I don't know. Uh, Bigsby, uh, real deal. You know, we had their young man, uh, their outstanding – Corner, defensive back, running back, receiver, uh, mayor, James mayor, everything he is Carter. for them, man. <laughs> Cordell, man, I mean, uh, Gooseby, I mean, just a, just an outstanding player, man. Uh, so I'm gonna give it to Bigsby. Bigsby ain't been beat yet. And I don't think he's gonna start with uh, Norman North. Don't get me wrong, Norman North is pretty good, but I don't think it's gonna start right there. Not that good. Not that good. Going into 6A, two, you got Stillwater over U.S. Grant. You got Barterville and Booker T. Don't know what Booker T is like, so I'm going to get an edge to Barterville. You got Chata versus Pubham City North. Uh, Pubham City North just lost to Midwest City, so Chata should put up 80. Got you got Northwest Class, and you got the Soul Bowl versus the uh, soccer Bowl. team. Uh, you got Northwest Class. I mean, I guess you got two uh, soccer teams going against each other, Northwest Class versus Capitol Hill. I'm going to get an edge to Capitol Hill. You got Sand Springs going against Muskogee. Now, this is going to be, I mean, this is going to be a pretty good game, but Muskogee should, you know, get back on the winning track. You got Deer Creek going against Ponca City. Uh, I think Deer Creek edge just out. You got PC West. Um, they're sitting at three and zero. Uh, got Coach Darby over there to play with Jonah. I think he'll get the win. Be he's a head coach? Well, I think he's assistant coach. Yeah. I think Darby's team will get the win uh, over to uh, Tahlequah. Then you got Lawton over uh, Lawton versus PC. Uh, both of those teams are. <clears throat> I'm gonna get an edge of Lawton. <laughs> <laughs> Going five A. Uh, you got McAllister uh, Memorial. McAllister right now is struggling, but I think they'll beat Memorial. You got uh, Eisenhower. Now, that's going to be a good one. Eisenhower at Carl Arbor. Eisenhower just came off a big win against Lawton, a uh, 6A small team. So, uh, Carl Arbor have their hands full, but they'll still blow them away. So, I got Carl Arbor at Eisenhower. Yeah, second half. They yeah, second away. half. You know, uh, the, the big hogs will be sitting down, uh, probably eating one of them school burgers. Uh, you, them, got uh, burgers. <laughs> yeah, you got Durant. Yeah, you got Durant over Sapopa. I'm going to get an edge to the Sapopa. You got East Central at Dell City. Uh, Rodney, Rodney uh, Fields will not play the second half. He'll have over 200 yards in the Three first touchdowns half. touchdowns in the first quarter. First in the first quarter. Man, the kid's untouched, but he ain't been hit yet, and he's in the phone booth. He still ain't been touched. He's, he's still running. You got huh? Collinsville over Pryor. I think Collinsville will take care of business. You got Shawnee and Bishop McGinnis. You're going to find out what Shawnee's all about. They start off district right now. They're sitting at one and two. They can get this win. They could be sitting right good at in, in, um, in district play. You got Piedmont at Southeast. Piedmont should blow the win. You got Alters at Midwood City. Midwood City should get their second win. You got Elgin at Elgin at El Reno. 
Uh, El, Elgin's too much for El Reno. You got Kuita at Glenpool. I really don't know what Kuita's all about. Man, they lost a couple ball games, got the first win last week. So uh, I think you'll get Kuita over Glenpool. You got Grove over Edison Prep. I think Grove will get the win. You got North, what's that, uh, Nathan Hale over Claremore. Ugh. You got Duncan. <laughs> you got Duncan at what? MacArthur. And then you got Noble at Marlboro. And both of those teams are not very good. So I'm going to get Edison to Noble. Going into 4A, 4A, 4A. Okay, here we go, 4A, here we go. This is Eats' part, folks, but he's off, so I got to do it. You got, what's that, Katusa and McLean. Part. Again, you can't pronounce the name. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. you got <laughs> Class in that Bridge Creek. You got Poto at Fort Gibson. You got Chicken Shea at Weatherford. You got Tecumseh at Newcastle. Newcastle get that win. You got uh, Scott Took at Wagner. Uh, Wagner's gonna get that win. Wagner's a pretty good team. I forgot to know Wagner's for it. Ooh, they, they 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 compete for there. They compete. They had a uh, tie. They do ties. Yeah, I guess they had a tie. It's probably like uh, forget it. Yeah, yeah. Broken Bow will have Medill. You got Harry at Blanchard. Harry's going to Blanchard. Harry, you going on the road? Uh, you've already been on the road once this year, but I think they should better take care of Blanchard, man. The two backs and do what they did last week. Both of them get over 100 some yards rushing. It's going to be hard. Um, you still got some matchups with Luke and some of the other receivers he got. So. Um, Harris should, Harris should get the win, be sitting at 1-0 and in district. And it gives them more wins than they had last year. So you got to be proud of those guys. But they could be sitting at 4-0. Oh, no. They could be sitting at 4-0. Oh, no. nah, it ain't 4 they, they probably ain't updated yet. You got Woodward over Kasha. Um, you got Bethany. Ooh, Bethany. Tuttle can lose two in a row, but I think Tuttle will get the win over Bethany. Uh, I just think Guthrie's really, really good. Who? Who? I so I think I think Guthrie's good, man. I'm just thinking Guthrie's really good. You got mom at Cushing. I think Cushing to get that win. Man, I didn't know some of these teams were in 4A, man. So, uh, Coach Blink, you're going to have to play lights out, man, because you got Cushing. You got uh, uh, Wagner, Scott. I mean, I mean, some of these teams yeah, are good. Ada. Yeah, Ada. They're not like they used to be. Uh, you got yeah, Hisdale Ada. versus Stillwell. You got John Marshall versus Clinton. Clinton should get that win. You got Ulaga versus Cleveland. Uh, Gabe and Deshaun's old coach, uh, Coach Stiley. Uh, Stan or whatever his name was uh, He's over at Cleveland But they've been struggling The last few years Going into 3A folks 3A How far you going in? Just 3A I'll be 2A And that's it uh, <clears throat> I'm just going to bring out Something big time You got North Rock Creek Versus McLeod McLeod's really struggling This year real quick But I think uh, North Rock Creek North Rock Creek North Rock Creek Say that three times Man that hard North Rock Creek North Rock Creek will get the win over McLeod You got Long Grove over Heritage Hall, everybody knows who's going to take care of biz. They got one of the best quarterbacks. Over Heritage Hall? Huh? No, Heritage Hall over Long Grove. I said uh, everybody knows who's going to take care of that business. What's his name? Best, the running back quarterback. Um, the fixes the sign, sign with OU, man. He's going to be another uh, Stoops or whatever he is. Kickoff return like the other guy. You got Douglas at Plainview. Plainview will win that. And you got Catcher Hall over Holland Hall. I'm going to give it to uh, Holland Hall. You got Bristow over, how do you pronounce that? Ula? Alnoa. Alnoa. <laughs> Alola. Alola. <laughs> yeah, damn it. You got Verticus over Central Central Tulsa. Yeah. You got Perkins, <laughs> Tryan over King uh, uh, versus Kingfisher. I'm going to give it to Kingfisher. You got Dickerson over uh, Sulphur. It's Dickson. Dixon. I'm sorry. Dixon. Man, my glass. Dick Dixon over uh, glasses. <laughs> over uh, Sulphur. You got Paul's Valley over uh, versus Marlowe. You got Berry Hill. Lincoln Christian, you know who's going to win that, Lincoln Christian. You got Main St. Mary. No, nah, baby. It's going to be Metro Christian with that. They have Anadarko against Mainford. Mount St. Mary's coming on. Up. Man. And you got Jay. Jay out there by uh, – I think Jay's out there by uh, – I don't even know any of these teams. Yeah, Jay's out there. He's out there by um, – Out there. Out there where Grandpa used to live. 4A-ish. Yeah. 5A. Here we go. 2A, man. 2A got like 95 teams, man. I ain't, you, I ain't going through that I basketball yeah, schedule. Get out of that. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Hope we look at some of the – you got Beth to yeah, hope they can get yeah. another win. Yeah, no, oh, sweet man. 16. Boy, boy, they really need to break this in half. They need Jones to versus Star Spencer. You're going to find out what Jones is all oh, about. Wait, how does uh, that work in the playoffs then? I mean, everybody makes it? No, no. They only take the top four. So they out of all those teams, they take yeah. the top four. Does everybody play everybody, though? Everybody don't play everybody. So you how do you take your, the top four? Because you take the top four in your district. So they might have five. So how many districts will they be? It could be four or five districts. I don't know how it breaks down, though. So that's like NFL right there. Yeah, it's break down, yeah. So that's why they play five or six weeks. Most people play four weeks. but uh, That's most, too many damn games. Yeah, most of them play four weeks. but uh, uh, So why don't they break that down? And they really need to break it down to a, to, a, to one side, one side, and those two sides meet. They should, but I don't know. I'm not over that. But, folks, we appreciate you watching Keeping 100. I know we didn't have anything today, but we got a chance to have a couple of special guests on. 
two of the young men from Carl Albert, then you had Coach uh, Blink on. Uh, like I said, I think we got a lot done, a lot accomplished, man. But I said, you know, we're always going to keep rocking and rolling. Last week, Jonah was off. This week, Ethan's off. I think I'm going to call in sick next week. Just kidding. Just kidding. We'll be back here next week, man, because we're, we're, we're in the district now. And this when everything starts shuffling out. Uh, I think my nephew, he uh, he got the game. What, they're sitting at, what, 2-0? 4-0. Oh? Oh. Uh, he got a game this week? Yes, sir. Who they got this week? Uh, I forgot. Some Norman team. I don't know. Norman, Norman, Norman. So you said last game came down the last 13 the last. seconds? The last 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Coach, Mr. Brody. Mr. Brody throws a touchdown pass to who? What's the young man's name that just played for us? Uh, Keyshawn. Keyshawn catches a, what, 50-yarder? Yeah, pretty, pretty yeah. I want to give a shout-out to my man, um, Slay. Young blood, he watches the show, man. Young one, young one. I love when the young one's watching the show, man. Everybody needs to watch the show, man, because like I said, we love everybody. We talk about everybody. I like you here. You got me talking about the band. You got me talking about the chillies. You got me talking about the the pep up club. Everybody, man. Everybody's part of the team, though. They play who? Longfellow. Longfellow. Is that gonna be a good game? That's gonna be pretty good. They they pretty good. That's what I think. That's where Teen College kids go. Yeah, they're pretty good. They're gonna be pretty good. They had a little seven on seven team out there. Seven on seven ain't no damn football. I know, but still though. They throw the ball around. I wish they would throw the ball. Yeah. Why is that? You going to get a pick? Our corners are tight. They coach by, you know. Who, who they coach by? Oh, I know. Who they coach by? I don't know. Ah! Well, folks, <laughs> I'm glad you got to check out Keeping 100 Oklahoma High School Sports. We'll be right back. We'll be back. I'm sorry, not right back. We'll be back next week. I'm going week. home. He's going home. I think I'm going to take just. me a hair burger. Hair burger. <laughs> I'm going to probably. I'm supposed to have meatloaf tonight, but. Just me and Jessica, so we might go out to dinner. Man, meatloaf is good, man. I want some meatloaf. Man, I mean, it's cold in here, though. The hell? You know, so, I mean, no matter what is outside, I ain't going outside. But I'm going to catch these Cowboys, though. But, folks, catch us next week on Keep It 100, Oklahoma High School Sports. We love you. See ya. I got to keep it. 100. My man keep it.